Hi, this is Brad Linder, and this here is an ASRock Ion 330 NetTop, which is a um, small desktop computer with a dual-core Intel Atom processor and NVIDIA Ion graphics. Now, that dual-core might make it sound like it's a really powerful processor, but like other Intel Atom chips, like the ones that wind up in netbooks, it's not really that strong, and so on CPU-heavy tasks, it doesn't perform that well. One CPU-heavy task uh, to date has been playing flash video from the web. But uh, starting today, there's a new version of Flash which takes advantage of that NVIDIA Ion graphics processor that's in here. So first thing I want to do is show you uh, some Flash video performance without GPU acceleration. So here we have Hulu, which is a site that plays uh, high quality content from ABC, Fox, NBC, some other sites. So here you can see that we've got a video playing. Looks pretty good in windowed mode, but when you try to blow it up to full screen, and this is just a standard resolution video, um, keep in mind. So let's go full screen. It starts to look pretty choppy. I'm not sure how well this is coming across on my camera here, but you know, playback is it's watchable, but it's not great. It's a little bit jerky. So that's with the standard resolution video on Hulu, and Hulu has pretty high quality videos. Uh, you can blow up a, a YouTube video full screen without as much problem. But YouTube is starting to roll out 1080p high definition videos. And here's a sample video. This isn't even in full screen. This is just in windowed mode. I've seen slideshows that move faster. So this is using, you know, the non-GPU accelerated version with the Atom processor and the NVIDIA Ion graphics. Uh, for another comparison, see if we can even get this to pause. Come on. There we go. Yeah. For another version, um, here is 720p video from Hulu again. Again, in windowed mode it'll play, but it's playback's a little bit jerky, but if you try to blow this up into full screen, It gets it's it stutters an awful lot. Um, this isn't necessarily going to be a very enjoyable experience unless you enjoy watching things that go at a couple of frames a second instead of a full 24 to 30 frames a second. So next, I'm going to go ahead and install the beta version of Adobe Flash 10.1 with GPU acceleration for NVIDIA graphics and some other graphics processors, and uh, I'll be back in a minute showing you how that works. Again, using the same hardware, which is the ASRock Ion 330 with a dual-core Intel Atom processor and NVIDIA Ion graphics.